Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you one of the most fundamental things that you need Photoshop for, and that is blending a new background with a subject. So if you cut out someone from a background, put them on a new background, they will not match at all, usually. And you'll have to do a few things to get them to match, but I wanted to make this quick. So there's a ton of 30 minute tutorials out there. I'll make this in 10 minutes or less. So here is our picture. We're gonna cut out this background and we're gonna put it in a completely different background, which is much warmer than the current one. So I'm just gonna grab this one and just bring it over here and let go. And let's go ahead and resize her a little bit to match. Now I have other tutorials on cutting out backgrounds, so I'll do this quick. We'll just do select and we'll select a subject. There we go, it's gonna select her. And I'm gonna press Command J or Control J on a PC. And let's go ahead and delete the background over here. So the previous layer, I'm gonna delete. Now, since I have other videos, I'm not going into detail on how to cut someone out. This was just a quick way to do it. Now I'll go ahead and resize her a little bit bigger here. And let's say this is our starting point, right? So they don't match at all right now. So how do we get them to match? Here's how you do it, it's pretty straightforward. First, we are going to come down here and press this icon on the bottom to add a curves layer. So add curves, that's over here, and it's gonna pop up like this on your layer. So you have your new background, your cutout subject, and the third layer is curve. Now with curve, the problem is if I make any adjustments here, if I go to this adjustment, it's affecting both layers underneath, right? We don't want that. So let me go ahead and undo that. We want to make this a clipping layer. So if you hold down alter option and go between these two layers, you get this graphic, this little down arrow, press that and it creates this clipping mask. Now with the clipping, it only applies to what's under, not both layers. Okay, so that was step one, was adding curve right on top and making a clipping mask here. Okay, so before we do anything, right now your curve, the white space is selected. Make sure this little graphic is selected instead. Okay, then let's pick our highlight. So we're gonna pick this point. Actually, this is the black. Let's pick the black first. What's the black part of your background? It looks like right over here. And if you look on top, make sure your sample size is not the point and it's just the three by three. So it's a little bit wider than just one pixel. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this black area right here. And if you have your color palette open, you could see what it picked over here. So that's one. Then I'm gonna go to the bottom one. This is the white point, right? So I'm gonna select that. What's the white point of my background? It looks like the sun right here. There we go. And what's the midtone? I'm gonna press this and the midtone is probably somewhere in this gray area over here. Let's see. I'll try a few different options. Okay, now I selected all three. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, this time with my subject in the foreground. So what's the black point of my subject? Looks like the hair is the black point. What's the white area of the subject? I'll select this very bright area over here. And what's the midtone of the subject? Let's go ahead and go with maybe over here, the gray on her hair. Now, if I zoom out, they are matching a lot more than before, but we're not done quite yet. We wanna add one more adjustment layer on top here. Let me go over here to this option and let's go ahead and add a filter on top of both of them. So the color lookup is a good option. It appears over here and you'll get these loaded on. And if you select the 3D LUTs here, you could actually add some other ones that I will apply to the background and the subject. So this, for example, you see how it's applying to both. Just go ahead and select one that you like here based on all these different options that you have. Let's go ahead and go with this crisp warm. Let me do a before and after. So it's applying a nice warm blend to both, which makes it very appropriate for the sunset. And finally, I'm gonna blur the background. So I'm gonna select the background layer and I'm gonna press Command or Control J to make a new one. So now I have two, so I could actually blur this one. I'll go to filter, we'll go to blur gallery, and tilt shift is the best one for this use case here. So as you apply that, just boost your blur right here, just a higher percentage over here. And I'm gonna grab the middle and bring it down. I actually want the foreground to be in focus, not the background. Right now the background, I want out of focus. So if I bring this down, 
you see the foreground near her feet are going to be in focus and then gradually go out. That's how a camera would actually adjust depth of field here. I'll press OK. And there we go. It's much more gradual blur from here to there. And you could play around with that. So we went from this picture to this picture. And now she looks like she's under a sunset compared to this really cool lake shot that we had when we started. I hope you found this useful. I do have all kinds of tutorials on this channel and I post new ones every single week. And I do have a complete course for beginners that teaches you everything Photoshop has to offer. The link to that is below in the description and I hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.